Hello fans of guitars with uneven tuning distribution head thing. Hey, Music Man Guitars, today. I'm excited about this one. I'm usually more a strati kind of a guy with some in-betweens and single coils and all that stuff. And I'm a bolt-on kind of guy because that's where I come from. One of my first guitars, my second guitar actually was a gem. So kind of that's where I'm home. And now I'm through the years through PIS and some brands, I'm more and more, you know, finding the benefits and the, uh, the sound of, of set neck guitars, or what we have today, a neck through guitar. Now in our, in our, I mean, Andrew Ferris, the guitar geek and I, uh, we made uh, a Les Paul shootout, single cut shootout, a video series with four videos. Check them out if you haven't seen them. And in the last one, we had 2,600 euro and everything above, infinity. And in that video, we had an Amada because even though, first of all, we didn't know it was a neck through because we couldn't see it on the back. We, we didn't check specs. So technically, it wasn't a traditional LP. Well, it really isn't it anyway. <laughs> We really wanted it in there because we loved it. We loved the shape. We loved the look. We loved the, um, everything about it, the whole philosophy behind it. Um, it didn't win. Guess what won? A Gibson won. Who would have thought? I wouldn't have. But the R8 simply killed everything else. Um, but the Amada was still a great guitar. Now, I really wanted one here because I think it, it just can give something to the channel. The look, the sound, the playability, it's kind of like best of both worlds. It's that ergonomic music man world paired with that really thick sound. And I've recently just gotten a whole bunch of single cards, mahogany guitars. And every time I take the Amada on my lap, it's like that, that extra step up. And when people listen to me play, they say the same thing. It's that, whoa, now it just stepped up. I have a Maybach right there, which clocks in at over a thousand less. But we're going to check it with a very traditional aged 59 kind of a Les Paul. Even though it's not supposed to be that, but still just to give you a point of reference. Now, when I called the distributor and said, do you have an Amara that you can park here? Parking in the sense of, I'm sorry, Chris, you're never getting it back. You got to come and pry that from my cold, dead hands. Um... They said, we only have one, and it's the blue one. And my heart started beating faster because it's the one I wanted. Um, you can get this in almost black with a natural um, flame, then a sunbursty flame. So all the flame and the color is actually happening here. But on the blue one, you have this in blue. And it's a dark blue, but it's still, you can see the mahogany in, in, in it, there's grain in there. You can see the mahogany here, which is beautiful. And if, if the sun hits it, it's ridiculous, as the pictures in the beginning showed. And then you have this, it isn't blue, it is turquoise. It is blue with a little bit of green in it. It's, the design of this guitar is spectacular. The V. The knobs, which are following the V. The V is what is uh, beveled or curved, whereas this is all flat and it goes back here. So you can see the beveliness right there. Um, up to the point where that tailpiece couldn't go any lower because it's actually sitting on the body uh, because of that curve. They, well designed. They're top wrapping it for some reason, don't quite know why. Um, we have these pickup rings, which is the only thing that's a little bit not quite so sexy because they get quite a bit bigger here uh, and you wouldn't be able to replace them with anything that you you yourself could buy out of wood or something, a little bit more high-end. It's just something that um, Music Man does now. We have volume and tone, three-position switch, nothing fancy. The whole design with the V 
which it, here then is just beautifully bent. It's it's tough to describe the shape of this guitar. Is mirrored in the inlays beautifully. I'm not a big fan of inlays. I usually go for nothing in my fretboards, but this is cool because it just matches. Um, the headstock is of course typical Music Man and kind of doesn't really match it, but who gives a flying rat's ass? The guitar's brilliant. Um, we have this compensated nut. We have a scale here of, I can't tell you, where does it say? Um, 24 and 3 quarter, which is 62.9 centimeters. You could read that on the website yourself, by the way. Um, the radius is 12 centimeters or 30, uh, 12 inch or 30.5. Um, the headstock is angled. Uh, has a binding, is matching, which I love because it's matching that beautiful turquoise blue. The only thing that uh, design-wise is a little bit off, this, I'm going to call this inlay because it's a little bit three-dimensional, this Armada logo. It looks cartoonish in the gold. It's, it feels too big, she said all the time. Um, but, you know, it feels a little bit too big. And it also feels as if it's like the, the logo of some kind of Spider-Man or Amada, uh, I don't know, cartoon or comic, adult comic, adult picture book thing. I don't know what you guys call that, nerds. Um, it kind of doesn't really work for me. It cheapens the experience, if you ask me. This looks nice. Everything looks nice. And I love the almost see-through white plasticky things uh it is all great and that cheapens it a little bit but of course that's taste and who gives a flying rat's ass i have to find something to bitch about um look at the beautiful back you can clearly see the all the way through big ass middle piece with two pieces of mahogany tagged on so that's mahogany that's mahogany even though on the website it says something that you can get it with rosewood in the middle no idea Let's stick with all mahogany because that's where we're going. Um, this is a scarf joint, as I can see right now. Yes. So the headstock, because it's angled, is scarfed on. Is that what you say? Freaking glued on right here, uh, which they do often with angled headstocks. People say it's for neck stability. I'm going to say because they're saving on wood. But what do I know? Um, that... Oh, God, that blue in my light, it just looks so good. Oh. Um, this whole section here is just beautifully done. Imagine you could reach the very highest fret on your Les Paul without any effort. Or you'd call it an Amada, wouldn't you? Um, so, two things I bitch about with, with, with Music Man guitars. I have a lot of great things to say. Um... They dare to be different. They don't go the trodden path and all this stuff. Schaller tuners should be really high end. Schaller's had some problems in the uh, lab last couple of years. And um, oh, these are really, really short. Beautiful. Um, but I have, to, I have to point that out. Look how close right here. Look how close the um, strings are, are running over the headstock. And these are really short pegs up here. That is just beautifully done. Um, but Charlotte tuners lately have been a little bit wonky. Uh, still absolutely usable and doable, but not... Th this guitar should be about 3600. Thoman is selling them for uh, about 3 to 3.2. Um, but this is a super high-end instrument, which means everything Needs to be up to the highest specs. Talking about that, the case is amazing. Uh, and funny enough, even though the guitar is, it seems very big, the case is smaller than the other Music Man cases. Figure that. It's kind of maybe a TARDIS situation. Well, it's blue. That's why. It's a TARDIS. You know, it's bigger on the inside. Yeah, I'm making nerd jokes. Um, so, we'll check these. And then, of course, there's this. What the crap? Um, it's aluminum, which is great. It isolates, which is some Music Man guys told me that. But the fact that on a guitar in this price range, they don't have the minute on the CNC to recess that is just... 
I don't think there's an excuse for that. It cheapens the experience. It's not a thing that makes you not buy the guitar. Come on, don't be ridiculous. You're not going to stand in the store like, well, because of that, I'm not buying this great guitar. But it makes you feel like, come on, are you serious? So that's that's my critique. Come on, are you serious? Um, so let's... So um, they are super tight. They, they feel really sturdy. So let's see if there's a little bit of wiggle or give or whatever we want to call it. Not on the E. That was an F sharp, huh? These are good. There isn't the tiniest bit of give or when you when you go back and then straight and, and then all of a sudden there's a little bit eh, eh, you know, or jumpiness, nothing. Those are precise tuners. Good. Uh, we have two humbuckers. They are, they are humbuckers. Um, so, I mean, if I really, 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 really wanted to bitch, let's see. The dots are centered, which I know I look for. Um, on the binding, there's the binding. And there's the really dark blue, and between the binding and the really dark blue, there is maybe half a millimeter of lighter blue. Which kind of, and, and also here on the neck, I mean, it's, no, no one gives a flying rat's ass, I'm just saying. So, it's something with taping it off, maybe, or, no. It is absolutely perfectly the same everywhere. This could be done deliberately. Yes, to frame the binding with a tiny bit of lighter blue. I'm going to say this is done deliberately, and it's done beautifully. <laughs> okay, we're going to go through a shit ton of sounds, um, and we're going to compare it to the Maybach, which, again, it is a very different instrument, but still, we're dealing. you want to know. Okay, so here we go. This is the Rev Dynamis into the coffee cap, uh, the blue thing right behind me, which matches the guitar perfectly, and, of course, the Ox... Uh, with the same kind of speaker inside, uh, cream back loaded, and I'm miking the cab, and you're hearing the ox. So here we go with the Rev Dynamis. <laughs> The neck is more massive than on Music Man's generally. Usually they feel super, super ergonomic and everything tiny. Uh, this is definitely a more massive feel. Uh, massive? Massive. Massive? It feels bigger. But how rounded is it? That is just gorgeous. Middle position. There the brightness comes in. And then the bridge. Well, we 
added. Let's go. Because you want to know, and I want to know, they're obviously not meant to be the same instrument. This is gorgeous, it is. Interestingly, this seems to have more output even though it's supposed to be like a 59. spank in the middle. Way, way f more focused mids back here. output which is great I get it cleaner and generally round little high, tiny bit a tiny bit more round and more balanced Also is mid focus, but the guitar retains more of its its bass. But of course, you don't want to hear this clean. Generally, you can hear that the characteristic is similar, but it's not meant to be. Uh, th that thing. It's meant to be an Amada, which is, which it is. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go Friedman Dirty Shirley. Because that is, of course, that's a fair price range for this guitar when it comes to what amp. Halo X. Um, and also, I think they're gonna make a good pair. with the sunset because I want to. it up to 22 without a problem and of course now we're going to do a little bit of meat with some delay and all that stuff from the ox and boost it with the sunset because uh, this is this is where it's at Thank you. 
I'll get this right. I'll get this right. And... Come on, you could play leads for freaking days with that sound. For me, this is like as good as a lead will ever get, ever plus 10. Whoa. Because Leslie has to feed the cats soon, we will go to the next amp, which is, uh, let's do orange rocker work, because some of you might have an orange with this guitar, which is of course a complementary color. Playing it too fast because Leslie has to feed the cats. No. You get the point. And blue works. Um, of course, we're gonna go to the ref 100p, which is purple and blue. That bites a bit, but that is the modern, you know, sound. Uh, I'm having fun. <laughs> None of what I play I actually know. I'm just making shit up just to let you know. This is why I suck. But this is uh, well, this could be good. That's, that's tough, but I work on that, that's cool. It's, 
it's super fat, but it's always defined. The guitar doesn't suck up any notes. Tens on it, come on. tweet by Joyo called The Beale Street. didn't do the Amelia, which is an inexpensive amp, at about 600 bucks, and that's gonna rock your socks off as well. don't need to look like Slash if you just want a phenomenally good instrument where they kind of didn't make, I don't want to say mistakes, but where they didn't replicate all that stuff that was done back in the day where they just made a more modern, improved one of the dogs is dying, um, instrument with better access. It's ridiculous how high you can get here. And the thing, and the locking tuners, and yeah. So the tuners on this, mwah, leaves this, which isn't great, but who gives a rat's ass? Everything on this is actually fully worth the money. If you're in the market for a guitar, in the three to four thousand euro range, which is what you're gonna pay for this, um, you're gonna have a lot of fun. And seriously, who needs to look like Slash? Slash does. So, and even if Slash played this, he'd still look like a rock star. I'd love Slash to play this. He'd sound phenomenal. Anyone would sound phenomenal. Doesn't even matter what style you play. Great job, music man. Absolutely great job. Um, this is going to stay here as long as they will let me keep it. And at that point, I'm going to have to, well, sell one of the dogs and uh, actually buy it. Leslie, can we sell one of the dogs for this guitar? No. No. We'll have to have a talk. Links below. Um, please support me on Patreon. I always say to feed the dogs. Leslie bitched about that. Also to feed the cats. We have more cats than dogs. Um... So that would be very nice if you did that. Also, click my links to Toman. That also feeds the cats, even though the dogs are cooler. Um, and either cats or dogs at the end. See you guys. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. 
thinking about my memories No one is alone I thank you for existing You make my life go on It's such a sad situation Cause I feel alone